Okay, so I was able to get that last nut on. Uh, the best way I found to do it was uh, go underneath of it from this position here, move these wire looms out of the way, hook on to the nut from underneath, and then pull the wrench around through the, the horn. I've already gone through and installed the wires uh, since we left, last left off, so I can't really show you right now, but when these wires are not connected to the intake right here, you can actually move them out of the way, get to it from reaching underneath here. Alright, right now I'm just trying to get the dipstick tube over into a position where I can fold it down. It seems to get tied up on these wires in the back here. Alright. You might need to do a little bit of bending of your tube to get it to fit just right. And we're back to our last uh, 10 millimeter to put this back on. Good, the wires are not touching. And again, just snug it down. Don't need to go crazy with them. Alright, the last step of all this is uh, putting that tube back on the intake. And then we'll go around and start it up, make sure everything's reconnected properly and uh, running without an issue. So hopefully I can uh, get that wrapped up here shortly. take the rag out of the tube. You're going to wonder why it runs like shit if you don't. Alright. Okay, that is not a 10 millimeter. I've already gone through and reinstalled all the uh, electrical connections at the battery prior to uh, restarting the camera last time. So, here it is. This is our newly installed CFM Plus intake. Um, as you see, it's a nice tight fit around here, trying to get everything down. Getting that last uh, screw back there. I can barely even get my middle finger on it right here. Um, probably taking this electrical connector, connector off would help a little bit, but still, it's going to be in the way. Um, I decided not to go that route and uh, do the boneheaded move. Clean this guy up a little bit just because, hey, it's new, why not? And then uh, clean up our tools.
And yes, this is how tall this truck is compared to me. And I'm almost So I don't know about you guys, when I'm up here, most of my tools end up up on the cow. Make sure you remember to grab all those. Alright, the fun part. Let's go start this truck. I'm just double checking all my connections, make sure the battery terminals are tight. Make sure I didn't uh, mess anything else up when I was up there. issue that came up the other day but uh, it seems to be creeping back up right now as it's idling so I think it has some combination of uh, the heater coil and uh, just cold weather causing the issue for right now all right since this is a cold start I'm not gonna rev it too much but I'm going to take you guys around, see if we can hear any differences out front. That's it. We're done. That's the install of the CFM Plus intake manifold.